happen if we've done our job correctly. We're relying on the fact that we need to we need to actually show. Let's get my arm out of the way. So here we've got the here we've got the print we've just produced, and here we've got the standard print. So we're comparing for we want to see a good rich black. We want to we want to actually see a really good. Let's let's bring that down so you can see that. Where are we now? Let's get behind the camera so I can actually see what you're looking at. Here we are. Now we've got the. We've got a good smooth gradation of black. We've got a good rich black going up to the beautiful white of the paper. We've got nice clean primary colours. We've got good gradation there. Our monochrome is accurate and our primary colours are accurate. And we've got a nice clean uh, pale flesh tone. These, uh, these are very, very important to, to license customers and also to make sure we've got a nice clean yellow. Very important that we don't. We don't give you a, a muddy yellow, which a lot of ink sets actually do. They give you muddy colours before you start. So if we've got a good, if we've got a good uh, um, uh, agreement between the standard print and the and our, pr and our printed uh, 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 production, we can then confidently go to the next stage, which is to actually adjust the monitor. So the monitor agrees to the print because the print stays constant and the monitor gradually dies away. Now the monitor in this case is a is a laptop monitor, so to be honest, I wouldn't I wouldn't hold out much hope for being able to produce to be able to adjust the monitor so that it's a it's a reasonably good uh, uh, um, it's it's a reasonably good uh, uh, um, uh, match. If you've got a good quality uh, PC monitor, what I would recommend you do is you simply adjust the uh, adjust the contrast to maximum. You can then adjust the uh, adjust the, the the brightness until the brightness on the monitor uh, agrees pretty well to the impact of the of the print as you see it illuminated under a reasonably cold light source. Now this light source. Is an extremely good light source. We sell this incidentally for sixty pounds. You can buy this online. It's a very reasonably priced light source. Lots and lots of photographers use this because they can judge their work, whether it's colour or mon or black black and white. They can judge it sensibly. Now, what you do is you, uh, as I say, you adjust your contrast to maximum, and what you then do is adjust your brightness so it's a reasonable. It's a reasonable agreement between the between the the uh, between the screen and the and the, and the print itself, and then finally you adjust the three color sliders, the red, green, and blue, until the monitor agrees as closely as possible to the print. And in the case of an LCD monitor, a flat screen monitor, you would you would revisit that adjustment. And make sure that your your monitor agrees to the print maybe every three or four weeks. And in the case of a CRT screen, certainly every three or four weeks, possibly even even uh, um, um, within maybe two weeks. Every two weeks, make sure that your monitor agrees to the print, not the print agreeing to the monitor. Now, finally. For those of you that want the best possible agreement of your uh, the best possible accuracy, remembering that these printers they're all slightly different one to another. They don't actually give you exactly the same color rendering one to another, and also out of the box they do give you a slightly a, a, a rougher uh, curve characteristic on color and density than than uh, we used to achieve in the darkroom. So what we advise you to do, and we, we give this to you free of charge with all your purchases of uh, licensed continuous ink systems and bulk inks, and we also do this for you for any order over a hundred pounds, is we'll send you this folder. Now this folder I've actually shown you here, we'll send you this free of charge, and that gives you the right to have one high-end laboratory custom profile for your favourite licensed paper. Now, when we're out, this is this dialog box we were talking about. So we've opened up a file, and we've got the question here: um, the document does not have an embedded RGB profile. What would you like to do? Leave as is. That's the first one. 
a sign working RGB which we would usually tick and the final thing is to assign the a designated profile. Now usually with a photographic image coming in from a camera we would always tick the middle button but because we're just about to import a test target this is one of the only times where we wouldn't tick that middle button. We're actually going to leave as is because this is a test target. Now we're going to show you the test target. Now this is a high-end laboratory test target. Uh, it's got nearly a thousand colors and densities for you to uh, check the color accuracy and density accuracy of your printer. And quite simply what you do is you print out this test target exactly as per the instructions that the laboratory give you. Now let's go back to the file. Now these little set of instructions come with the test target. Uh, now this, this, these instructions go away. Now this, this, uh, this set of instructions actually is for the R24. I happen to grab hold of. So you've got all of your instructions, and the laboratory actually tells you specifically how to print the test target. It tells you exactly what settings you have to use and then you fill in a little form and you send the test target print on your favorite license paper back to the laboratory. They'll do you one custom profile for your favorite paper completely free of charge and there's the test target and then the payoff is that you'll be printing uh, to the same level of accuracy as our high-end photographic customers who insist on absolutely uh, uh, a complete uh, um, uh, photographic accuracy uh, and also density accuracy but also a lovely smooth gradation. You see this nice gradation from black to white? Well we're going to give you this smooth gradation on all channels of your printer. So that's the payoff. So do take advantage of the custom profile once the profiling offer once you've decided your favorite license paper and that concludes now it goes without saying that any problems that you have trying to achieve uh, 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 accuracy with color and monochrome if you fail to achieve the standards uh, that we would like we'd like you to achieve please get get straight back to us my email address is john at merit.com and the telephone number the UK telephone number and you can you can phone from abroad of course uh, the telephone number for your technical support no matter who you buy from we are your technical support and the telephone number is 01825 764 057 thank you very much for watching this video